Well, hello there, motherfuckers. And a few weeks back, uh, maybe about a, more like a week ago, actually, I was getting a request, a few requests to talk about this whole uh, ice cream challenge thing. So, you know, I've talked about these challenges in the past. They've had the cinnamon challenge, the ice bucket challenge, and, you know, like, okay, so, like, maybe the ice bucket one was good, but I don't really see... You know, while why everyone was doing it, some people were also doing that, not for charity reasons, just to like do it, just to get likes, just to get views, and that stuff is annoying. It's copycat, copycat content. It's stuff that you know is just a trend, and that stuff, like you know, it, it's basically the public that makes it popular. And this is one of those types of stories where people like indirectly make these people famous. They indirectly, you know, aid these people's causes and they make them famous by giving them views, giving them likes and so on. So this is the latest trend. It's been, uh, I don't know if I would say an epidemic, but it might be headed that way. If people licking ice cream tubs, tubs of ice cream out of the grocery store, supermarket freezers and putting it back, you know, so the unsuspecting buyer can buy a, you know, to say the least, tainted tub of ice cream. And it all started off with this one girl here and, you know, they're trying to like protect our identity by blocking it out. And it's not just that. It moved on and there's like a 36-year-old man arrested in Louisiana. By the way, this article is from CNN if you want to check it out. There's also another, you know, thing going around where people are licking tongue uh, depressors in dentist offices and, and and then putting them back in the jar. I mean, can you imagine that you're, you're going to the dentist, you know, you're in someone else's office, you're in a doctor's office, you know, that's kind of like one of those places where you'd probably want to tread lightly, you know, there's a lot of sensitive instruments going around, things in there that you don't even know what they do, and, you know, you're just licking random things and, and, and putting them back, and, you know, the thing is, when you're doing this, is it is it not... Uh, does it not go through your head that, that maybe someone can get sick from this? That, you know, like, why are you doing this? Like, what is the reason behind it? What's the motive? Obviously, you know, if you think it that it's funny, oh, you know, someone else is going to use this right after me. Uh, I mean, I just, I'm sorry. I don't see the humor in that. So anyway, um, uh, uh, let's see. Oh. This is really interesting. I more so with the the ice cream one because you know, like, okay, you could just say those people are AIDS why they're doing it, but just but look right here. I've talked about this in the past about parenting and you know children growing up in a new generation where they're just gonna you know they're they're basically um, you know they're they're just asking for a bad uh, childhood, a bad adolescence because you know you have like people with the mind of adolescence raising adolescents so you're going to get a recipe for disaster to say the least so let's read about the tongue depressor thing and ice cream isn't the only thing people are finding to lick a new version of the licking challenge grabbed the spotlight this week so it's you know hashtag ice cream challenge hashtag um licking challenge whatever it is it's you know variety things so it's not just ice cream it's licking i think people are under the impression that it's just for ice cream but according to cnn uh this is more than just ice cream it goes beyond food uh so a new version of the licking challenge grabbed the spotlight this week when a video appeared on social media of a young girl grabbing a tongue depressor from a dentist office in jacksonville florida the girl licked it and then put it back in the jar her mother 30 year old uh corey ward admitted recording the video and posting it on snapchat authorities say she was charged with a felony tampering with a consumer product she faces up to 30 years in prison if convicted i had just been waiting a long time i was just being silly with my kids <laughs> it's ruined my life now that's how i feel at least i mean okay 
like we're talking about a mother that is younger than me and i don't know how young this girl is they didn't say they're probably trying to protect her you know once again because she's a, a juvenile you know she's a minor but you know basically she's saying that she was you know bored she was waiting a while she's trying to like entertain her kid uh and, and, and the thing is, she's here, like, recording it. So, like, you know, if it's just, you know, being silly and everything, like, we're recording. Like, obviously, like, they're doing something here looking for attention. I'm just saying this is just completely asinine in every sense of the word. Like, what causes a human being to do this? This is how she's bringing up her child? You know, take her in the dentist's office saying, like, this is okay? I mean, we rely on our parents to teach us right from wrong. When we can no longer rely on our parents to tell our, tell us what is right and wrong, we, you know, better hope and pray that these children are in positive environments. But save your prayers because they're not, because the schools and everything is just, you know, everyone around these people uh you, you know co-workers and the like the, you know they're uh, most of these people are not positive influences i'm telling you these um these generations that are coming up uh they're going to be in a really rough spot because it's come to the point now where the, like where where this girl right here you know, she, she she might not even think that far ahead. See, that's the thing. What's so crazy is like these people don't think that far ahead. Yeah, I'm going to take the ice cream. It's funny. People might laugh. Oh, ha ha. This is something that I'm not supposed to be doing. So, you know, it's funny because that's always been the thing with human nature. You know, doing something you're not supposed to do. And it, it gives some people almost a uh, drug-like uh, rush you know, they, they, they feel this like sense of, you know, they're doing something exciting. And that's why a lot of people do it. You know, that's even like doctors have studied kleptomaniacs and such. It's not really that they don't have the money for this product. You know, go watch like an episode of Breaking Bad. And, you know, and, and you'll see the klepto on that show. It's more like just excitement. You know, as the woman would end up going into like an open house just so she could steal just, you know, some knickknacks. It's it's pathetic. It's like really you you have to sometimes feel sorry for these people. Uh, and, and, and it's really that, you know, I, I guess in the case of like with the dentist office, it's they're a product of their um, of their upbringing in this case. Not, you would mostly say product of their environment most of the time. You'd probably hear that expression, you know, said to death. But this is more uh, an issue of just people not being brought up the right way, not realizing that these, you know, I think they, they know that it's wrong. I like to say, you know, they don't know from right from wrong, but I don't think they think that far ahead of like, you know, what this can do exactly, you know, that your tongue carries a lot of, uh, you know, microscopic bacteria on it and you're going to be licking this ice cream. Uh, it's just, you know, it, it's just unsettling. It's disturbing and it's, uh, I, it, it's wrong and it, and it really doesn't bode well for the future you know when when, <laughs> when people are walking in to stores and licking ice cream um you know he, here you go it's like okay so like parents need to have a chat so you know you're gonna have a chat with your children but the thing is it's like in in, in some of these cases uh, you have the parents recording them, you know, co-signing with the action saying, hey, this is a good thing here. So, you know, it, it goes without saying that this is probably not the best piece of advice. What can parents do to stop their children from doing such reckless things? Well, for instance, uh, not recording them, not telling them that this is okay. Uh, you know, not telling them that they should carry on with the questionable activity that they're doing. I mean, maybe maybe that might be a start, you know, for effective parenting. I mean, you know, uh, guys, you know, we, we got to bring it all home here full screen. I mean, you know, this is this is not like rocket science. When, when, when you kind of break it all down, you really think about what's going on here. It's not a matter of of you know just upbringing uh children it's not just you know right and wrong and just you know realizing that you know spreading bacteria through licking a tub of ice cream and putting it back or a tongue depressor it's like 
why are these actions even necessary? Why have, you know, like humans are capable of so many things. I mean, you, you look throughout history and this might sound a bit silly to you, but you see all the great things that human beings have done. Great deep thinkers, people's minds have helped society. Someone has invented the automobile. You know, someone invented um, electricity. You know, they're, they're, I mean, there's so many different uh, aspects you know someone invented the air conditioner someone invented the fan you know someone um had an idea for you know to invent invent video game systems and vcrs and blu-ray players i mean the mind is limitless you know there's uh, brilliant architects who have designed buildings you, you know uh, homes that had advanced from huts you know into you know huge uh, skyscrapers I mean, you know, the, the human mind is limitless when it comes to ideas and thought. Um, so, you know, you, you, you really start dialing it back a lot when people start licking random objects. I mean, this kind of brings me back to like, you know, uh, hearing about people licking toads to get high. I mean, you know, now this isn't even a matter of that, like... This is just, you know, ice cream is a very popular food item, a popular dessert that a lot of people enjoy. I guess that's why they're targeting that. If, if there's any brain cells that are being used at all, I mean, maybe there's a reason why the ice cream challenge got started. But this is by far one of the most negative challenges I've seen. The cinnamon challenge was stupid. But I'm just saying, it, 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 at least it wasn't like harming others. Like, you know, you're doing it to yourself. You want to swallow a whole thing of cinnamon, go right ahead. Go swallow a whole jar until you cough your brains out. You know, oh, but the thing is, you know, you, now you're kind of widening, uh, you, you know, the, the, the field of effect here. And now you're harming other people. You know, I also was reading another article about, you know, how people had contracted listeria from a bluebell ice cream. And it was unrelated to the ice cream challenge, but just to show that certain bacterial infections could, you know, um, get into certain food and certain items and it could make people very sick. It also led to them shutting down for many years until they can figure out how to, you know, quell the infection and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, I mean, man, this is not good. This it, it, It's not just not good for the ice cream companies. It's not good for humanity here. That's basically what really made me want to make this video is just to really say, like, just I look around and I always knew that people were insane. I, you know, and I always know that people are just completely out of their minds, but uh, now, now I'm really starting to question just like, have we come to a point in humanity where we might as well just abandon hope? You know, th there's many people out there. There's, you, you know, there's more people that are not licking the ice cream that are. So maybe that's an overstatement, but there's just so many uh, other inequities in life uh, that people are doing things wrong or they're doing things that they're not supposed to. it's like there's just so many things that you could do in life you know what i mean like focus on your career play a video game watch a movie but people gotta go out and do stupid garbage like this it's just it's totally unnecessary totally uncalled for and, you know, if you're here watching this video, maybe you were thinking about doing it just to see how it was and have a friend record you or see if maybe you could, you know, be the next star of a viral video or get, you know, a, a, a lot of likes on Instagram by posting it there or uh, on Snapchat, you, you know, and I maybe convinced you otherwise, then I guess I've succeeded. But this is mostly purpose of this video is just to rant on it and just voice my displeasure and dismay at what's going on in society right now and in pop culture i mean this is pop culture i, I guess right i mean it's something popular that's pretty well known that people are doing but anyway guys there you go there's your video on the topic hope you all enjoyed it please subscribe if you haven't already click the bell so you get all notifications when i post all my new videos and i'll see you next time